Hello viewers, welcome to the channel and welcome to another Minecraft video. In today's tutorial, we're going to be building the Leopard 2A6. Now this is an upgrade on the 2A5, which is in turn an upgrade on the 2A4, featuring a heavier composite armor, add-on armor, more advanced fire control systems, and of course a longer barrel, right much all main gun. So it's a pretty intimidating main battle tank in use in the German army today. So we're going to start out by placing uh, two dark oak fence gates just three blocks apart. It's going to be starting our tracks. It's going to be almost identical to our, our previous Leopard 2A4 video. We're going to be placing a black shulker box up behind those gates. And then polished black stone stairs behind that box. And then row of three. A black shulker box up behind those row of two stairs. Then another row of two polished black stone stairs facing towards each other. And then we can place down another brick upside right behind those two black stone stairs. And we're also going to take our Darko trapdoors. And we're just going to build them all the way between our last and second block, technically, our first square block right here. So between our uh, between our black shulker box and our last uh, block, the nether brick upside. Once we have that complete, we can put down our finishing touches for the tracks. So we're going to place down a normal item frame, or we're going to start with the buttons on our black shulker boxes. With normal item frames, holding a green stained glass pane. with our bearing our road wheels on the polished blackstone box. Starting our second layer, we're just going to be simply placing our green blocks right on top of our dark oak trapdoors from the previous layer. And in the back, we're going to place down dark oak uh, trapdoors flipped upwards. And in the front, we'll place down a row of three upside down dark base green stairs. And to either side of those stairs, a another brick stair facing right side up. And we're just going to take our dark oak slabs all the way back. For the first four blocks, we're going to take a dark oak head, place it off to the side of our another brick stair with two dark oak fence gates and the dark oak head placed off of the third slab. We'll take our debug stick and just not do that. We'll put in wall to be true. We're also going to take our dark oak signs, cobweb, and a banner real quick. So place down this black banner right behind our last dark oak slab with a normal item frame to the side of our last dark oak slab with a cobweb item. Now we're going to take our dark oak signs with a rope 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Once you have that done, take our dark oak signs, place down one of each on in the front of our nether brick stairs. And take our invisible item frames, place them down on the side upside down prismian stairs with a trip bar hook. With that done, we can move on to our third layer. Starting our 
third layer here. We place down darker trapdoors on top of our nether brick stairs from the previous layer. With a row of one, two, three, four, and five daylight sensors. In the middle here, place down a dark prismine stair with a quarter stair to each side. Then we'll place down a three by three row of oops, of green terracotta. And then the same stair shape to the sides and the rear. With dark prismine slabs in the corners. So once you have that done, we can move on to our engine deck. We're going to be taking our building row of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 pistons, and then a row of 5 and portal frames, and then on top of our dark oak blocks, uh, slabs, place down green terracotta, and in the middle, polished blackstone with a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 moss cobblestone walls behind all those. We're going to place down a piston, whoops, a uh, sign to the side of the piston and the uh, end portal frame from the previous layer. Let's place down a button on top of our dark, uh, on top of our green tier card blocks, and we can debug these uh, walls. So this can be east, west, tall, uh, whatever forward is for you guys, also tall, and then up to be false. Just like that. We're going to make our way back to the front here. And we're going to be placing a rail right in the middle with a flower pot to each side and a barrier block in front of our flower pots with an invisible item frame holding a white stained glass block. With that complete, we can move on to our fourth layer. Starting our fourth and final few layers, we're going to place down a row of three pistons on top of our row of three stairs, right at the front. Then we'll place down a row of three and portal frames. And then a row of three lecterns right behind those. We're going to place down a two by three, yeah, two by three uh, blocks of green terracotta. Then a row of uh, three mossy couples and walls. Then an end portal frame to the rear of our uh, last moss cobblestone wall, and a dragon head placed off to each side. Moving towards the front, place down uh, two dark prismine slabs coming off the front of our middle piston. I'm going to place down uh, green heads. These are going to be placed on top of our daylight sensors to the left and right side, in front of the pistons at a good 45 degree angle, with a green head placed off to the left and right side of the pistons. And then we can place down two walls that will be off to the side of our portal frame and lectern. Then we're going to place down row of three green stained glass panes. that a dark oak fence gate to the side of the dragon heads. We're then going to build a row of five daily sensors. We're going to use our daily sensors, place them to the left and right side of our first row of three and green terracotta blocks. Place down a dark oak trapdoor right in the middle trap doors to each side in the uh, just off to the rear of them and then a green head was placed off to the uh, side of our right side uh, dark oak trapdoor we place down a lightning rod to each side of our last green stained glass panes with 
two iron bars. Next, we're going to take uh, barriers. There can be two barriers to the left and right sides of our last two green stained glass panes. This can hold an invisible item frame with a dragon head. Turn to a 45 degree angle. Just like that. I'm also going to put in our uh, machine gun to the left side. Place down a dark oak fence gate to the side of our uh, daily sensor. Place down a chain to the front. A barrier block to the side with an invisible item frame and a dragon head. Flipped upside down. We also place down an invisible item frame, or two more rather. Uh, one more on the right side of our first daylight sensor and on the roof with a black bed just turned horizontally. And then an invisible item frame placed on the left side of the lectern with a black stone block turned at a 45 degree angle. So now we can uh, start the wonderful art of debugging everything to make some more sense of it. So all these pistons, just starting front to back here, pistons can be extended to be true. Our walls here are going to be north low, south low, east west respectively low, and up is going to be false. For the wall behind those, up is going to be true east, west, respectively true, and the rear for us is north to be tall as well. Just like that. This roof machine gun, got a few changes, we've got to close it and in wall to be true. Carrying on towards the back, all these pistons can be set to be extended true. And this row of walls here is going to be a forward to be true, a forward to be tall, rear to be uh, short, and east-west to be uh, tall, and up to be uh, remaining true. So north low, south to be tall, east and west tall as well. And for these uh, fence gates, East and West, true respectively. And then our forward to be true as well. Just like that. We're also going to place down a dark oak sign to the rear of our last end portal frame. We're also going to set these buttons to the side of our last green, ter green terracotta box to be powered to be true. And this and pull the frame right here is going to be I true. Of course, these banner wheels are going to be on uh, both sides. Did just forget to put that in the tutorial. And last thing is very hard to see, but we're going to place down a normal item frame. A normal item frame to the sides of this wall right here. At just the right angle, and that's just going to kind of uh, cover our lecterns just a little bit. All right, with that all complete, that will finish up our should finish up our leopard two a six. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, the build, and I'll see you in the next one.